Hi, I'm Carter and I'm six. Hi, Carter. How are you today, mate? I'm doing good. You're doing good. So thanks for joining me for a deeper conversation. Do you go to school, Carter? Yeah. Yeah. And what type of things do you do at school and you learn? Science, DT, maths, English. And do you like these subjects? Um, I don't really like English, but I love maths and science. You love those And two. DT. Is that on the computers? No. P P uh, what do you do in ET? ET. So, it's not been long since I just started it, so... First, we, the first thing we did in ET was we did different ways of sticking stuff together. So the stapler way, I weren't really that good with. <laughs> so is it like art and crafts and things, or? Yeah, but like that. Nah, but so right now we've just designed our own glove puppets for Christmas. Okay. So. And I think next week we're going to actually create them. Oh, okay. Ready for for Christmas, yeah? Yeah. Do you just, still just do plays at, at school? Do you still do plays? Yeah. Last year I was a star, but because the year twos were actually like the actors, like the actual people. Mm -hmm. Like we do. Christmas plays about when Jesus was born. When Jesus was born. Yeah, so we was like the stars, me okay. and my class. Oh, okay, you were the stars. Are you doing the same play this year or a different play? I so don't really know. No, but you don't I know, do, yeah. But I do think it's the same play. Okay. Because, because why would they even change the play if, if that's the only play anyone can think about for Christmas? But that's all to do with Christmas, isn't it, Jesus? What do you think about Jesus? Do you know much about Jesus? And... The only things I really know is that he was the son of God. Mm -hmm. One of his friends cut his ear off, but Jesus actually put his ear back on, but healed him, so it stuck back on. And also, that he died on Easter and was born on Christmas Day. Wow, you know a lot, don't you? Yeah. Now... Can we go on to my friends? Yeah, let's go on to your friends. So you got friends at school? Yeah. All 29 in my class of my friends. Wow. So you've made friends with all of them, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Especially the silly ones. <laughs> well, the silly ones are lowering my friend Mita. Because oh. they're silly. They're silly. They're funny and silly and play around. and. Yeah, but like they do silly stuff in the classroom. They, they be rude to my teacher. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to the not silly ones. There's only really four of my friends that aren't really silly. There's only four. Well, three. There's four people in my class, including me. If you include me, there's four. And what do you consider a friend? What makes somebody a friend? Like, when I first went to the school, I was nervous, but Zachary, I, my first... My first ever friend, Zachary, was like, <coughs> play with me and keep me calm because it was my first day and I was a bit nervous. Oh, so a friend may be somebody that's kind to you and helps you and is, just, and yeah. Yeah. Are all your, obviously all your friends you get on with, don't you? So. Yeah. So what, what, do you know when I said about love, what do you, what is love to you? If you had to describe love to somebody, how would you describe love? I'll pretty much describe it as friendship oh, okay. or partnership. Partnership. That's nice. Yeah. I I actually have this like club of my with my with four of my friends. So one of them is silly. Caesar is the silly one. And can't do They're twins. She's a silly and Codrin's not silly for some reason. They're the opposite. And then there's Zachary. Then there's Bobby. But but guess what? what? Zachary used to be the leader of it, but yeah, he said I can be the leader. So I now I chose who's second in command and I chose Zachary. <laughs> Zachary's second in command now. Yeah. <laughs> so up first I was second in command. Okay, now you've you've been promoted, yeah. Yeah, 
And guess what? Kadri and Bobby and Caesar, yeah. They're also very cool members. They're cool members. Yeah. Good friends as well. Yeah. <coughs> so you know, you know, like how you watch films and all of this, yeah. and what? How if again, if somebody came down and you had to describe to them good and evil or good and bad, how yeah. would you describe good and how would you describe bad? So I'll describe good as like helping people, mm -hmm. but I'll describe bad as like like not helping people. Like mm -hmm. so, if there was an old lady crossing the street. But she was about to get hit by a car. Yeah. What, what would you do? I would probably just say, there's a car coming to you. <laughs> to try and help her? Yeah, to try and let her know. Yeah. Yeah, so she like, because, yeah, so she can like try to get off yeah. the road in time. So you're a bit like a hero if you do that, aren't you? Like, yeah. Like, a, like <coughs> heroes and villains, good and bad, yeah? <coughs> Yeah, but I would describe bad as, like, just ignoring it. Ignoring that, oh, yeah. Yeah, like, letting her get run over. That's Like, brilliant. that's really bad. Yeah. Like, that makes you, like, evil. Okay. Because you're, like, letting somebody die. Yeah. They could have died. Yeah. From just getting hit by a car. That's it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but it's most likely you'll die from a lobby. <laughs> because... No, it's a bigger and they mm -hmm. have to hold more weight because, like, there's massive. You're right, mate. You're exactly right. If, if a lorry hits you, it's a lot harder than a car's going to hit you because of the weight, as you've said. So clever. You really are. So what are you in the world? Do you think you're good or do you think you're bad? I'm, like, good. You're good. Yeah. If you had to compare yourself to a hero, what hero would you compare yourself to? I would mostly compare myself to either Hulk Mm -hmm. Or flash. Wow. Because I am quite quick and also I'm quite strong. Wow, okay. Yeah, you'd be you'd be you like one of those two, yeah. But you're wearing Spider Man today, aren't you? Yeah, because like we couldn't really find any flash onesies or Hulk onesies in my size. Ah, but Spider Man's good too in his yeah. cool. It's cool. Yeah, he also like I would also try to compare myself with Spider Man. Because Spider Man is actually smart. And I'm very smart. <laughs> you are. You are, mate. You're one of the smartest lads I know for your age. How old are you again? Six. Six. Only six. So the world, you're going to make your stamp in it soon, isn't you, kids? Going through school and everything. What do you think about the world? It's a big place, isn't it? But what else do you think? Do you think it's a good place or a bad place or a bit of both? I think with the predators and the herbivores... I would say it's in between good and bad because people do get eaten by predators. But, like, some predators are are allowed to be pets, like cats and dogs. Okay. So we're talking about animals now a little bit, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Because you love animals, don't you? Yeah. So one of my favourite things. My favourite type of animal is actually a reptile. Uh, actually, reptile. Because they're really cool. What kind of things do you like about them? I like their, how they're scaly and some of them have like really camouflaging in scales so they can easily camouflage in My favourite one's actually the chameleon. Because even though it's just green, it can actually just change its colour. Wow. And also it does this too. So it turns a light colour to get cold but it turns into a dark colour to reflect to uh, wow. get warm wow because the dark because dark colours hold on to sunlight but light colours just like reflect it wow so where are you learning all this how have you learned all this information some of this are fact videos on kiddie youtube but <laughs> some of it is from school okay so about the world yeah. How can you make it a better place? So I would like, you know how some animals die because they're being hunted. Mm -hmm. When I grow up, I want to be a zookeeper so I can like put animals in the zoo wow. and tell people how why they're being hunted and how. Okay. 
to protect animals a little bit more, yeah? Yeah, because ha I don't want most of the animals in the world to go extinct. Take the pandas, they're being hunted for some reason, but yeah. like, pandas aren't predators, they just eat bamboo, that's mm -hmm. all they, the only, re the only time they would actually attack you is if you either attack them or you like hurt their babies or, or look like you're trying to fret their baby. But if like there's a baby panda stuck in a bamboo tree, but the but the mom's too heavy to actually get it and like it's gonna break, you can like climb up it and get the baby. Then like you as that <coughs> panda will be friends. Wow. Because you've actually saved. Ah, oh, that's this lovely. Kid. That's lovely. Yeah. So like a rela building relationships with animals. Yeah. Yeah. But Working in harmony with them in nature, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Looking after them, helping them. Yeah. So I'm also going to take the red panda because they're also being extinct. Okay. So you're going to help all the animals? Yeah. Red pandas are small and not really that strong. So yeah, if there's any predators nearby, I'll like come over there and like find something and like put it in the predator's mouth to stop it. That's lovely. Like I'll try and push it like the predator back with like mm -hmm. an iron bar with like a, a really hard and long stick. Wow. You truly are a hero into you, I mate. You're gonna save a lot of animals when you're older. And I Isn't but you? also sometimes a bugs are going extinct. Yeah, it's it's a lot of things, isn't it? I so know. tell me about the bugs. So some dogs like actually eat some bugs. Mm. Like, take Arlo, he eats flies and bees and wasps. He eats all that? Yeah, he eats some of those. Yeah. Sometimes. If we let them out in time, he can't eat them because they're out in the wild again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, so some dogs like eat bugs, like random bugs. Because, mm -hmm. like, some pets are eating them because they think they're trying to harm their owners and dogs do actually protect their owners mm -hmm. <coughs> do you think animals are clever do you think they're quite intelligent yeah yeah but the ones i think are quite dumb are pretty much just the only animal on the earth who has no idea what it's like just to have to walk everywhere a fish they have no idea what it's like to have to walk everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They only know, know how to, like, swim. Yeah. They don't know how to walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, some fish will go and get stinked. Mm-hmm. One, because loads of fish, like, jump out of water and accidentally land on land. And also, others just get eaten by sharks. And what do you think about what we're doing to the sea? Do you know about, like, us polluting it and things and throwing stuff and rubbish in the sea and oil? Yeah. Is that That's not helping or... No. No. So, also, I'm, like, going to collect fish. And there's going to be, like, a fish area in my <laughs> zoo. And I'm going to, like, put them in that area. That's amazing. It sounds like Noah's Ark, doesn't it? This this this, this place you're going to have. You're going to, like, save all the animals and it, yeah. it's beautiful. And also, like, bears are going extinct because they're being hunted because some people, like, want their leather to make carpets out of, mm. like, in the olden days. Yeah. What do you think of that? Do you think that's fair? <coughs> no, like, because leather stuff isn't really comfy. No. Like, they make settees out of leather and stuff like that. Like, it's not even comfy, is it? No, but the settees that are made out of wool are like, actually like, really comfy. Because, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, you use sheep wool, not leather. Yeah. And I suppose, really, when you take sheep wool, you're not harming them, are you? Because it grows back. Yeah. But to take a bear's fur, you've got to kill it, haven't you? Yeah, but yeah. look. But, like, farmers actually only do this in the summer. So the sheep don't heat, heat up too much and, the, and get overheated and die. But the farmers also care for animals. You're so clever, mate. Yeah, but I don't, actually do not like what we're doing to cows, pigs. I don't, know, I don't like what they're doing to animals. Tell me more about that. So, that we're killing farm animals to make food. Yeah. Like, we're killing sheep to get beef. 
because I cannot remember what sheep. <laughs> lamb, lamb for sheep. Yeah. And we kill cows for beef. Yeah, and we kill chickens for chickens. Yeah. Which, yeah, which pretty, uh, they have the same name. But also, I don't like what McDonald's are using them for the chicken for. They're making them into chicken nuggets, mm -hmm. which they taste delicious, but <laughs> like. <laughs> They don't care that people that people are harming the things they're using to make the food. They just don't care. <coughs> You're so right, though, mate. You're so honest. Like they, they just don't they do care. Like to be fair, you know, so certain things taste amazing, <laughs> don't they? But. It, yeah. The, so these places like McDonald's, yeah. they don't care for the animal, as you're no. saying, do they? These big restaurants and all these, yeah, they're not looking after the animals, right? Are they? But yeah, but drink shop, like they're actually just only taking like little bits of water from the ocean. Mm -hmm. Like energy drinks aren't really made of any water at all. No, no, they're not good for you, are they? Energy drinks, do you no. think? No. But water is good for you, but not salt water. That can just keep you dehydrated. Wow, you clever boy. So if you was out in the sea, you couldn't drink that that, that water, could you? No. 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 It's actually dangerous under the sea because of the sharks, and especially tiger sharks. Mm -hmm. They can eat you in about five seconds. Wow. That's literally how quick. But, but I would not try to harm a puffer fish if I even wanted to because you know how they puff up? Yeah. Like it like it like like they have spikes on their body when oh, they no. puff up. What would you what would that do to you if you do you know that if, if one of those spikes touched you? Well, people are, don't really know that so the people who made Minecraft mm. are actually just making it so it poisons you because because who knows what it does because so, oh, okay, so it like might poison you or it's definitely going to harm you, isn't it? Yeah, but we don't know what it's actually doing. We don't know. I like that, mate. So, a little bit away from animals now, because you're like an expert on animals. Yeah. We can come back to them in a minute, can't we? Yeah. So, what, what about grown-ups? If you had to... Do you think that grown-ups do anything silly? So, you know, the, the ones that cut down wood yeah. are like... Destroying habitats for animals. Oh, mate, yeah. Yeah, because, like, they're cutting down, like, squirrels and birds' homes. Yeah. By cutting down trees. Yeah. And ones that, like, destroy caves are just, like, killing bears. Like, it's not fair on any animals. No. <sighs> People are killing them. So, so you love the trees as well, yeah? Yeah, mm. I love nature. Oh, mate, that's amazing. I do, too. We both love nature. I'll tell you what I want to talk about now with you. Yeah. Something a bit strange. You know, giants that you read about when you see in films. Oh, yeah. Do you think that giants could have existed in the past, maybe, at some point? Yeah. And also giant trees, like big ones that you see in, like, Avatar. Do you think that that could have been a thing on the Earth? Yeah. But also, people say in the medieval time that dragons existed. Cause, yeah. Because who do you think protected the castles apart from the knight? Who do you think... Do not fought against. Mm -hmm. You're right, mate. You're right. So all kinds of things maybe existed back then, yeah. Yeah, but oh, I actually figured out that dragons still are alive today. Wow. But guess, can I tell you where they are? Where? Hiding with the gods. With the gods? Yeah. So some dragons, like water dragons, ice dragons, earth dragons, mm. fire dragons, because some, because like homeless people need fire they actually are working with the gods now they're not a threat to humankind anymore they're actually helping so earth dragons are growing all the trees to produce to blow the oxygen everywhere wow water dragons are producing the water for us to drink and the air dragons are like producing the air for the earth dragons the the to push the oxygen into the trees so the trees can so the trees can blow the air where which the air holds the oxygen. <coughs> and, the fi and the fire dragons help poor people to make fires to keep them warm since 
they live in cold places, you know. Like, they, fire dragons mostly help them when it's like winter, when it's really cold. Okay. So where did you learn this? So, I pretty much just like saw something in the sky and like then it flew down and I saw it was like a lizard with wings. You saw this? Yeah, it like had spikes. I tried to show my mum but flew back up within two hours before I could. So what did it talk to you? How did you find out this information about the different types of dragons? How did you know? Like I saw four of the dragons, the oh. four element dragons. You saw the four. You saw all four of them to get like in the sky together. Yeah, like. Where do they go? Where Where do they like live, or where do they go when they leave here? Do you I, not know, or? I would say they went up into the clouds to work with the god, but some of, but Jesus. Who I'm, t I, I'm friends with, told me that one thing happened to the fire dragon. Hades, the Greek god of the underworld, yeah. stole it because the Greek gods are still alive and also the Greek monsters. So Hades stole the fire dragon and is using it to like make house fires. No oh, way. And forest fires. The ones in the world at the moment, you know how there's all the fires around the world. Is yeah. that is that part of it? Yeah, that's what Hades is doing. Why do they want to burn the trees and everything? What what is Because you know Hades mm. is an evil god, he's the god of death. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. He actually wants to kill humankind. Mm -hmm. And also he wants to kill you he also wants to try and free his Four he also wants to kill his. He also wants to bring his four titans back from the dead. Cause Zeus killed his four titans, which are of the four elements as well. But they're powerful enough to kill the elemental dragons. But once Hades tells them that that the fire one's helping them, which pro Hades actually was the one who was actually advancing through science as well he advanced through science like humans did wow so guess what he actually made a mind controller so we can control the dragon's mind wow could he use on humans the mind control thing as yes. well yeah he, guess what the titans are actually helping the dragons yeah. before but then hades might put the mind, mind control device on them what is that's some that, that how do you know this? Again, how do you know this? So, saying science apart, yeah. I actually love the science about Greece. Okay. I well, know a lot about Medusa, I know a lot about the Minotaur. You first, you're anything? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Because I do need to drink lots of water since my throat. Do, do, do you want some water? Drinks or anything? Yeah. I have a drink, bro. I'll take, I'll take some smart water. <laughs> smart water? Some smart water, please. <laughs> yeah, again, back to Hades. You mind controlled them. Wow. But hey, I do not know what's up with Hades and mind controlling things to destroy the earth. <coughs> How about like robots? Ooh, I do know a lot about robots. Yeah. Like the questions I want to ask you is what do you think about robots and can a human become a robot and what do you think about a human? Is it good or is it bad or what do you think? So, if a human... I actually have like a robotic suit which I've not tested out yet. Yeah. Yeah, but... Well, I, I mean, like, I mean properly, you know, like a proper robot being mixed with a human. Yeah. Do you think that's... Yeah. I think it's possible, because... Because what about Cyborg? He's half man, half human. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Well, he's half man, half robot. And what do you think about that, good or bad? Half, like... Like... Turning man into machine? Is it a good so, thing or a bad thing? I think it's like... In, 
I think at the start we were bad, but at the in the end it would be good. Okay. Because I think, because at the start you probably won't be able to control it. That's it. So yeah. But like it'll take over time. You'll be able to control different parts of it. Oh okay. So yeah, in the end, I think it will be good. But at the start, yeah, it could make bits of the script. Destruction. Destruction. So, like, if we made a load of robots around the world that helped us with our work, yeah. what about if they turned on us? Do you think that could happen? That they could, like, turn bad or they could turn on us and it all go... Or do you... Yeah. Yeah. Because I actually know, you know Dr. Frankenstein? Yeah. You know how he made Frankenstein's monster? Yeah. He actually... Bed Frankenstein's monster to destroy the earth. So, what if Dr. Franken? So, what if humans, regular humans, made robots to help you with your work? But Dr. But Dr. Frankenstein had to, to turn on you. That would be very bad. But <coughs> who knows? This is it, mate. Who knows? Could be it good. Could, could break be... out of the hat. Yep. Because, like, if I could create a robot, I would, like, make it unhackable so nobody can hack it. Mm -hmm. I've actually been trying to craft my own, like, mini robot out of cardboard. Do you want to show it, mate? Well, I've tried to, but, like, I'm... but, like, it won't let me because I'm trying to use... Because every time I use the glue, like, the glue just makes it fall apart. Falls apart. One last question. Yeah. For you. Can one man or one boy or one person save the world or change the world? Can one person do it? I would say I don't really know. Because there is some people who try but they failed. Yeah. But there are some people who tried but they succeeded. Yeah. So, maybe, maybe one person, if they're like a bit of a hero, yeah. one person, if they're a hero, maybe save the world, just one. <coughs> do you yeah. think, or do you think it takes millions of people? Or do you think it, it just takes one hero, one hero? I think, I thought if you failed the first time, yeah, you could like ask a crew to help you, but if you succeeded, you just don't need to because you're a great person. So I'm actually really good at adventuring. Adventuring? Yeah. Yeah. I know loads of animal type, don't I? Yeah, you yeah. You know a lot of survival as well and everything, yeah. don't you? You yeah. You could be a great adventurer. I'd like you on my team with your knowledge. <laughs> Definitely. You've got to be on my squad. I know. But also, if there's I could also see very good. I have good sight. Good sight. You've got a good brain, good sight, good wisdom, good knowledge. And um, guess what? And also good strength and good speed. Mm -hmm. So like I so like if there was a volcano on an island I could see if it was was about to erupt. <coughs> I like how you're quite small as well, because that means you could get through special places that nobody else could get through. Yeah, like, so say if one of you guys was trying to hold open a little door so I could get under and open it. Yeah, yeah. Carter, you're the man. Thank you, brother. Welcome. We're going to speak again? Yeah. Yeah? Love and light. Say love and light. Love and light. Take care.